Welcome back my lovelies. Today I'm doing something different. We are doing first impressions with drugstore hair products. I have a shampoo, a conditioner, I have a leave-in conditioner, I have a blow dry mist, I have a texture spray and a dry shampoo and then I have a hair dryer. So Andre and I went to Target and we picked all this up. Let's go to Target. Look at the Kristen S line. I want to get some stuff to try out. It looks promising. They even have purple shampoo and conditioner. I found it. I want to try this bad boy out. What'd you find? All right, this is one. Sound like it's broken. Something here sounds broken. This is a hair dryer. You put your hair through those two nozzles. It's like you go in the bathroom. Yeah, when you, when you put your hands in. I just spit everywhere because I'm so excited. It's like when you put your hands in to dry your hair. For your, for your it's, hair. It's to dry your hair. To dry your hands in the bathroom. You I'm gonna try to dry my hands in there. <laughs> or burn it, whichever. So we are back from Target. I already finished doing my hair with all the products. So if you guys wanna see how well these products performed, let's start in the shower. Welcome to my shower. Today, obviously, I'm going to wash my hair with the new Kristen S line, the purple shampoo. This one I'm very excited about because I've heard great things. And this is what my hair looks like on the fifth day. No, it's sixth day already. Sixth day hair. And I'm basically gonna give you my feedback because it is a first impression. I'm gonna put the shampoo in my hair and kind of talk you through what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna follow the directions that she recommends on the back. So I'm gonna grab a quarter size amount or depending on the thickness and the length of your hair. So I don't need that much purple shampoo. And this is the one purple shampoo. It's brass reducing, instantly illuminating, shine restoring, safe for daily use, and it's sulfate free, which is great. And it has some kind of zip up technology where it kind of, for you to have less hair split ends, hair breakage, and just to kind of target the weakest spots on your hair. All right, let's try this. Ooh, that's purple. So she said to apply to your scalp first because Obviously the ends, if you have blonde hair, they're the most porous, so it's gonna grab onto the color the fastest. So focus on the top portion of your head for two to three minutes and then kind of spread it down to your ends for another one to two minutes. I'm not gonna do it too long just because my hair is not as brassy. So let's do this. It is lathering, but it's not lathering as much as some other shampoos. So it's been around two minutes and I'm just working my way down towards my ends with the shampoo. So I'm just gonna make sure the shampoo is nice and work through the ends of my hair as well. Let's rinse, it's time. I wanna see this purple shampoo is drying on the hair because usually purple shampoos, they're very dry because they're very pigmented. So I wanna see how well this one does. All right, so this shampoo, like I expected, it's very drying on my hair. I can barely put my hands and fingers through my hair, so I'm kind of used to purple shampoos that way, but I wish it was a little bit more moisturizing. The good thing is I have conditioner, so let's try the same, the one purple conditioner. So it is brass reducing again, it's shine renewing, it moisturizing, and it smooths the hair also, safe for daily use, and it's sulfate free. And this packaging is so cute, and the, and the bottle is squishy. I love it. It's a very light, so basically I'm gonna put the conditioner into my ends, work it nicely into my ends, and then work my way up almost to the top just because I want my hair to be conditioned because it feels really dry right now. Okay, so that's definitely helping a lot. I can easily pull my fingers through my hair now. Now I'm gonna take what I usually do, I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and just gently work from the bottom to my way up just to make sure everything is nicely distributed and just to make sure my hair doesn't have any knots. Three minutes have passed by and I'm just touching my hair now and it feels very moisturized. I can easily put my fingers through my hair, which is awesome. I hate the feeling when my hair is dry and I just can't put my fingers through my hair. That's the worst feeling ever. All right, I'm gonna rinse off my hair with cold water and I'm gonna meet you guys in my room to finish this off. <laughs> So 
So looking at my hair now, right after the shower, it definitely looks like it did something with the purple shampoo. Like I said, when I just started, my hair wasn't as brassy, so there wasn't that much yellow, but I can definitely see that it's a lot less brassier than when I started. So I'm excited that it did something with the purple shampoo. So now I'm gonna spray in her Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner. It's for all hair types. It detangles the hair, strengthens, and softens, and it seals in the moisture in your hair, and it enhances shine. So I'm excited for this product. And I was smelling all of her products, and they all smell very similar. It has a very, very soft, fresh, kind of like a very high-end salon smell which I don't mind at all. It's not bad at all. And of course, it also contains her zip up technology. So she says to recommend spraying it right after the shower. Shower. <laughs> she recommends to spray it right out of the shower, towel dry hair, and apply five to 10 sprays depending on your hair length and your hair type. So I'm gonna start with five and then brush it out with my wide tooth comb. I was just reading the back of the bottle. She said that this is her number one since day one. That's cool. So far, I really am liking this leave-in conditioner because I brushed out my hair and I can easily, you guys know the drill, I like to brush my fingers through my hair and if it gets stuck, I am not a fan of. So for the first impression, I'm liking it. It feels very weightless. The smell doesn't linger as long as I thought it would. My hair feels very nice and moisturized and not brassy, which I am liking for the purple shampoo. So I have three more products for her to test out. I have her Style Assist Blow Dry Mist. So this basically what she says, it smooths, seal, and protects your hair from the heat. And of course, I couldn't pass up her texturizing spray and dry shampoo. So I'm gonna test these out on my hair today, and then I'm gonna also use this tomorrow on my hair and update you guys how it feels on my hair the next day, if it absorbs any oils. So I'm gonna quickly put on my makeup and then I'll come back and we will start with the blow dry mist and we're gonna blow dry my hair with the new hair dryer by Revlon. So now that I have a little bit of makeup on, I'm gonna add her Style Assist Blow Dry Mist with the Revlon Salon 360 Surround Styler. This looks so interesting, but I love that in every single one of her products, she has a little bit of like a paragraph or even a couple of sentences explaining why she loves this product and how she uses it. It kind of gives that feeling that my friend is recommending this product to me. So I love that she adds those little personal touches to every single one of her products and she explains why she likes it. So this is basically, like a blow drying mist that helps reduce the cutting time of blow drying your hair. It helps to tingle your hair, it helps to smooth down your hair, it seals and protects your hair from the heat. So let's try this out. And she said a little goes a long way. I'm just quickly brushing my hair out with the wide tooth comb to make sure everything's evenly distributed. I like it. All right, so let's test out this bad boy. Let's take it out of its box. I need some scissors. So this is what this bad boy looks like. It's very different. The reason why I even picked this up was because of the technology and the design of this hair dryer. So this is pretty much what you do with your hair. You put it in there and you kind of just smooth it down, I guess. I don't know, this looks very gimmicky, but also you can just twist and it just turns into a regular hair dryer that the air comes out but it's not as strong and powerful, and this is pretty heavy. So let's see what happens. Let's try to put my hair through it. So I guess I'm just gonna take some hair. I'm not gonna try, I'm just gonna practice before I do anything. I guess I'm just gonna put my hair like this. It does have the heat settings, has the hot to warm and cool, and then it has the cool button. It has high and a low. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. I'm just gonna section off my hair first. So this hair dryer has a lot of claims as you see in this gold paneling right here. So it says 70% more hair drying coverage, 360 surround customized airflow technology, powerful dual air jets quickly dry front and back sections of hair in 360 mode, airflow is concentrated in classic mode, 60% faster drying, less damage, high endurance AC motor, lasts up to three times longer, 
and conditioning ceramic and ionic technology for maximum frizz control, brilliant shine, and less damage. Okay, so here is my issue with this. Because my hair is shorter, it's just, you see how it's blow drying my hair? It's like blow drying it up. It's creating a lot of frizz because I can't control it. But I do like the fact that I can just place my hair and just kind of move it back and forth very slowly. But I don't like that it only has high and low. There's no medium airflow that I can control. So it's super high or it's very low. So the air is flowing down through all these little squares. And I'm trying to get as close as possible to the roots, but it's not really doing it just because you have this in the way and it's only blow drying down instead of up. Yeah, not really impressed with it. It's more like a gimmicky product. I like my Dyson and my GHD a lot more than this. Do you want to try it on your short hair? <laughs> See if it's even possible for men. Let's try it. Come here. No. Come on. Let's do this. I gotta get on my knees. <laughs> All right. So your hair is a good length. Let's just see if it would work even for men. <laughs> like a comb? For guys, this is a no-go because it just blows your hair down. Oh, I want it, I want it to go yeah. up. My problem is making the hair go up. So you need the old-fashioned hair dryer. All right, let me just finish it off and then I will meet you guys back and we will talk about the texturizing spray. Two minutes later and my hair is completely dry. All right, so I'm pretty impressed with the shampoo and conditioner. It definitely got rid of a lot of the brassiness. It looks very nice and icy, which I love. But speaking about the blow drying mist, it definitely helped silking my hair and add a lot of shine. I think with the leave-in conditioner added six spritz, maybe I should have added seven to eight. Maybe that way it would help give a little bit more softening and moisturizing to some portions of my hair. But it is very weightless and I like that my hair doesn't feel heavy or it doesn't feel like there's a lot of products in my hair, which I really love. I'm definitely going to continue using these two and see how well I like them. Now let's move on to the dry finish working texture spray. This is for all hair types, texture building, instantly volumizing, ultra light hold, and a soft matte finish. So what she says is rarely do I make waves without this. So maybe I should do some waves to my hair. All right. So I do feel the texture definitely. And it kind of feels a little bit sticky. Maybe I have to wait a little bit more. I think my hair looks great. I love the color. I think the products worked as good as they should. And I think the price is really great. So I'm very impressed. I definitely want to check out more of her hair line products. And then tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to try the dry shampoo and see how well it works on minimizing the oils on my scalp. So I'm excited to try this tomorrow. But so far, I am very impressed with the shampoo and conditioner. I do think it's very drying, the purple shampoo. So I would go in with a deep moisturizing mask. But it does work on taking out the brassiness from your blonde hair. If you have blonde hair, definitely check it out. I don't think this is worth even trying. There are many other great hair dryers on the market. It looks cool, it sounds cool, but it's a very gimmicky product in my opinion. It is the next day. We just came back from the gym not too long ago. Took a shower, refreshed our bodies, but I did not wash my hair because I don't wash it every single day. I tend to wash it every four to five days. I've extended it. I was in between the two to three days. Today, I will be testing out the dry shampoo by Kristen Ness. And this is for all hair types. It absorbs oil, eliminates odor in your hair, it extends your blow dry, and it's vitamin C enriched. So this sounds very promising. And it does smell exactly like all of her other products. So my hair, it does not look bad. Today's the second day. It still looks pretty fresh. It feels great. But I do want to refresh it 
around my face area that's where i sweat the most and kind of in the back of my head so that's pretty much where i'm gonna spray it leave it in what does she recommend she doesn't really say anything she just says apply to dirty or clean hair at the root and then gently tap the powder into the hair to make any visible powder disappear so I'm just gonna apply it in those areas, kind of let it sit maybe 10 to 20 seconds, let it soak up the oil, and then I'm gonna brush it out with my hairbrush. While the dry shampoo sits and does this thing, I really wanna quickly talk to you guys about the purple shampoo. We did a little bit more research regarding the ingredients in the purple shampoo just to see how safe or harmful they are to our bodies and our skin and hair. What we did was we went on ewg.org slash skin deep website. They are incredible. I talked about them before and we typed in each ingredient and there are 20 ingredients in here besides water and nine of those were harmful. So they were above a three or a four and they went up to a, an eight. So it's a scale of one to 10. One is being least harmful and 10 being very harmful. So the most harmful ingredient here was the methyl. So it's basically alcohol. That's what dried out my hair and I felt it right away. And I mentioned that in the shower. I have another purple shampoo that I really love and they also have the methyl, but they only have one. This one has two in here. So it does dry it out a little bit more, but I have noticed that in purple shampoos, a lot of them do have the methyl in them. For some reason, even if they are vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, they still have some kind of alcohol in it. I don't know why, but they do. I still have to find one that doesn't. So on a scale of one to 10, this shampoo is probably a five all the way up to a seven out of 10 of being harmful. So keep that in mind. And basically you get what you pay for. It is a great purple shampoo of toning your hair, getting the brassiness out, but it is very drying. That's what I got out of this purple shampoo. I'm just very gently going to massage it into my hair and the white cast is not really there anymore, but I'm gonna brush out my hair anyways, just to make sure it's all evenly distributed. And also the ingredient list is pretty bad. <laughs> With the dry shampoo, there's a lot of propane, butane, alcohol and fragrance, of course. All of Kristen S hair products that I bought have fragrance in them, so keep that in mind if you are allergic to them, stay away because it is pretty high on the harmful scale. I believe it's like an eight out of 10, so that's pretty bad. The dry shampoo does work, but keep that in mind, it does have a lot of alcohol, butane, propane, basically just alcohol to suck everything in. <laughs> but most dry shampoos do have a lot of the propane and alcohol and fragrance that are actually really harmful for you. And there are some companies that don't have fragrance and don't have the butane, the propane, and basically pretty much any alcohols in their dry shampoos. And I will keep you updated and let you know which ones are actually really great and are effective. So there we have it for my first impressions on drugstore hair products, some shampoo, some styling products, and some heat tools. What do you guys think? Do you guys wanna see more? I definitely wanna dabble my way into some drugstore products. And of course, I wanna keep you guys updated if I do continue using a lot of these products and see how well they work for my hair. But for now, you guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.